so the Flash is back with season seven, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut corners. I'm not gonna bullshit. This video is titled of something along the lines of has Flash handled the kind of merging of seasons as well. Obviously, we got a very not a very short but a shorter season six um because of covid they couldn't continue filming so they had to continue it into season seven now season seven was obviously gonna be about godspeed and not about eva mcculloch um now obviously it still is merging into it along with the fact that uh hartley sawyer as elongated man as ralph dibley is now gone so let's try and do something about that so as of this video releasing there should be three episodes out but as i recording, there's only two um so i'm kind of just going to go over what happened in those first of all mirror master has just been retconned essentially mirror master was never like the true mirror master even mcculloch always was and the actual mirror master was just one of her creations that's that's fun to find out <laughs> spoiler alert if you haven't seen the episode obviously um nash dies in episode one and i feel like that would have been so much better if that was episode like 20 of season six um, I know you can just binge watch the series and then start off here, but it still feels different. The whole thing of them just trying to do a brief explanation of why he's sleeping in some cryopod um, to like reserve his speed, that's a bit weird because he uses his speed with no issue. And also the first episode of season 7 is with Allegra um, and Chester, which you know, that's obviously them trying to say, oh yeah, as soon Team Flash will kind of merge into these guys instead of Cisco and Caitlin and stuff like that. But man i it was a it was a lot to take in in one episode we get the council of wells back inside his head and he kind of finds out that wells because of the particles inside him he can be the thing to activate this new artificial speed force yada yada and i know we're meant to be taking it as season six episode 20 as opposed to season seven episode one but it's just a lot considering we had the last flash episode like last may now we yeah it's been a while episode two cisco's back and frost um is back obviously they get called in because you know nash has passed away they are able to make the artificial speed force but it is slowly kind of draining barry of all his emotions it's giving him super fast thinking but he's got no emotions so we can think of things factually just not emotionally which leads to like shenanigans in the episode where you know the team flash is trying to basically save him like i, I guess because he's not thinking with his heart he's only thinking what is factually the best outcome which you know that's not, not, not always what you thought that's not always the case sometimes it is better to go with your heart we get this really cool scene where frost uses velocity x and she becomes like this just a speedster basically that was awesome i want to see more of that that looked sick i do eventually end up getting iris out of the speed force purely down again to barry's like factual side of his brain instead of using any emotion messy the first two episodes very messy and i know again should have been the end of season six but they've definitely tweaked some stuff to make it work like the fact that ralph and sue are in, are in you know going into hiding because of what even mcculloch has done i don't think sue's coming back i think that's the sue dearborn arc done because that was meant to be ralph and sue's kind of like coming together relationship story but uh, yeah that i feel like they have to cut a lot of corners it's such a shame because the last video i did on this channel about the flash was my review of season six and i was just over like i i loved it i thought it was so cool and it's like i i, I couldn't really pick which was my favorite between season four and season six i don't want to shit on this season yet we've only had two episodes but so far it's not looking good it's very messy and it should <sighs> fuck covid man fuck it there's a lot of like comic references that they brought up in in these first two episodes that didn't need to be there and i feel like they're trying to set something up whilst not be able to handle what they're already doing um so that pissed me off a bit oh that's another thing to fucking talk about the fucking the ending to episode two is reverse flash killing the original timeline harrison wells but then the original timeline harrison wells coming back so first of all we're getting another wells i love tom cavanaugh i don't mind but also it's a bit predictable at this point that when a wells dies we're gonna get another one but also how the fuck the, the best okay so here's the thing so that that will never be original timeline wells because original timeline wales never died never encountered the about thorn he just kind of went on with life and flash came like 10 years in the future and that was it right but now he has died and then come back which is obviously surely another timeline again because that harrison wells never actually came back i don't know i hope it's explained in episode three you guys would have known because he was out <laughs> he was out it's yesterday but um ah <sighs> but anyway i am seriously worried for this for this season i was really looking forward to see some godspeed stuff we had teasers last season and this was going to be the full-fledged thing um whether we're still going to get that i don't know because obviously this even this is going to be a shorter season and then season eight if they're doing it touch wood grand gatson's having a baby now so we'll see um will be like a like a full october to may season 
Um, but yo, such a shame because I don't think the first two episodes handled it that great. There was too much trying to be thrown in. They should have just gone smooth with it. Tried to, you know, just end off season six, then go into season seven, or try and find a way to kind of end off the season six arc, but just add even McCulloch. Because it'd be a waste to like not give that get, get even McCulloch a, a proper ending. But I feel like to kind of slow that down and then just incorporate it into season seven some more would have been better. But beggars can't be choosers. Uh, well, this one I'm not even a beggar. I don't even I, I don't care that much. Um, Star Girl season two is coming soon, and Superman and Lois is great. So I'm. We'll see. That's another thing. Star Girl season one, which was last year, looked great, right? That looks amazing. Superman and Lois looks amazing. The Flash still looks like it's being filmed in 2014. I'd, I, I wouldn't mind if if they kind of up the graphics a bit. I think that'd be alright. But um, <sighs> oh, that annoyed me a bit. I was expecting at least some sort of upgrade, but there we are. I mean, he destroyed. He destroyed. Okay, so the the Speed Force is constantly being, you know. Destroyed, revived, used, destroyed, taken, weakened, strengthened, you know, it's always shit going on with the Speed Force. The Speed Force is gone, gone. Wally said so, you know, like, we saw the thing where his mother dies and that was the Speed Force dying. Then they made an artificial Speed Force, but then he destroyed that, but then he had all the lightning being sucked out of him because he destroyed that. I need to stop. I, 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 I can't. I'm, I'm going to carry on watching it, right? <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is... It's just get, it's the same old shit. Same old shit. Anyway, what do you guys think of the first episode of The Flash? I hope it does get better throughout season 7 and that season 8 can be a bit more of a success. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, we upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 6.30pm British time. Thank you guys and I will see you very soon. Good bye.